Okay, I know I've already done a few videos about plowing snow with the quad. Uh, this one we're going to go a little bit more in depth and why the quad would probably be the best thing to get for plowing snow. Well, not probably, it is. But first, a couple of things that I have to do before I go out and push snow around. One of them is getting the... Uh, ice off of these off the fair lead here because what happens is that will freeze up and the cable will run on it and wear out the rollers another thing this is just particular to this quad is the ignition is all broken out because I lost the key years ago but also it freezes and you won't be able to turn the quad on unless you get some water on it and thaw it out. I guess first thing is I want to talk about uh, a couple of things about the quad. If you are going to ever buy a quad for uh, plowing snow, you should just keep in mind that this here blade will need to be replaced oh, every, probably every few years depending on how much you use it. So just make sure that the, they will be available. It's actually, it's got square the bolt goes through and it's actually square holes on the the blade itself so could be a little bit tricky to find now this quad here uh, I bought it new in 2007 uh, we'll just go quickly it was uh it was about seven thousand bucks new that uh, was with the blade uh, it has had basically no problems. It's a 350 Kodiak, it's a Yamaha. Uh, so I, that's 16 years I've been using this thing and it has been sitting outside for 16 years. Never stored inside. Uh, very, very reliable. Now why do I think a quad is better than uh, say a pickup truck with a bigger blade well one thing is this thing's a lot better on fuel it sips the fuel another thing is a pickup truck with a bigger blade you're not going to be able to get half the places that the quad will there is some disadvantages uh, one of them being that there's no actual downforce on that blade it doesn't push down it's just the weight of the blade so that can be a bit of a problem if you're trying to go through something that's kind of deep and icy or whatnot. Usually, it's not too big of a deal. But what I'll do here today is I'll plow this here, and this is this should have been plowed the day it fell. Oh, Benjamin, you're trying to get my attention. Yes, I will play with you in a little while. Yeah, this should have been plowed. I know, I know, it's snow. This should have been plowed the day it fell. Uh, I was busy doing other things, so I'm gonna get this a little bit cleaned up here. Um, it's good to do that just in case it does snow more. Yeah, the one reason to stay on top of the plowing is uh, because you never know how much it's gonna snow the next day. So it's good to just keep it at a minimal. Now the one thing that is a disadvantage is quads are cold. For some reason, they seem to be colder than snowmobiles. They're, I don't know why it is, but they are cold. You have to dress warm. Good to have hearing protection. Also keeps your ears warm. Another popular misconception is that you need like a thousand cc quad. You don't, this is 350 cc's. It's a little narrower, a little smaller than uh, than a bigger one with a bigger displacement. It's a lot better on fuel and 
a lot of times it seems to go way more places because it'll sit on top of the snow whereas the big one will fall through like in the morning I go out in the morning and the snow's crusty I can go right on top of it my big one in the house here they're in the garage oh no it's over there the big one it goes through <laughs> Okay, now with this uh, this particular blade, I don't know if the new ones are any different, but uh, the one thing that is kind of a hassle is to angle it, you have to use this to change the angle. See? And it just drops into the different slots down there. when they're not all full of ice and snow. Hard to do with one hand. Okay, so I had to change the angle because I want to get this pile here made a little bit smaller. Okay, now when it comes to plowing something like the driveway, does there's a ditch on the left, but on the right, it's just a big bank and it just goes down into the forest. So in the spring, when you're in the fall, when you first start plowing, you want it to be as wide as possible because eventually you're gonna run out of places to put the snow. So I start out wide and I push most of it to the right, down over the bank. That way it keeps the ditch kind of clear for when the snow does thaw out. Um, eventually, this will get narrower and narrower until it becomes uh, basically almost a quad trail before once in a while I'll have to take the bulldozer and push it a little wider, but most of the time I'm good just with the quad. Uh, no matter what, if I had to be, I, would, I could keep it all clear with the quad. But as it narrows, what ends up happening is all the snow that you see landing, that lands on this driveway, has to get pushed down and onto the road because the sides get too high for the snow to get pushed to the sides and the banks on the sides are just frozen ice blocks. So uh, one other thing you can do when plowing is you can make the the sides gradual so they're like ramps and then that way you can go push the snow right up to the top of them I've done that in the past too where I've had banks that are 10 feet high and I've just had ramps where I would push the snow up and over the the, the bank anyways let's push a little more snow yeah, I have done things to the plow. I've had it rebuilt a few times. But that, I think both times I've done it, it hasn't cost me anything. It was just bring it to a local and get it all welded up again.
forgot to mention anything, chances are you'll find it in one of my other videos uh, pertaining to this subject. Anyways, I have, I don't know, three or four plowing videos out there right now. Or you could just leave a comment. I answer all comments.